Hey guys, welcome to part two. Two, if you can count. She's a hater. We have questions. Um, we did a part one, which you guys saw, but we wanted to do another because there's just so many questions, so. Oh, someone just snapped me and said getting ready for 4th of July. Do you guys think you're ever gonna get any more pets? Do you guys think you're- I love staring at walls. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't mind. I understand not wanting to see yourself. Um, no. I think having two cats and a dog is, is a perfect amount right now. Okay. But, um, eventually, you know, the inevitable. It's something we don't want to talk about. Wait, what? The inevitable is something. See, she goes off on things. Just listen. Are you talking about death of yeah. a pet? But listen, it, like one day when that happens, because it will, it has been my dream since childhood to get a black cat and name it Bagheera. Babe. Okay. And then like a little baby one. That's I don't like want. And call it Mowgli. That's fine. Do, yeah. do it. Do your boo. Do your boo. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't like the whole, oh, you know, if my cat dies, I'm going to get another one because that's like replacing it. I will right. never feel that way. So it's like, if you want those things, right. then have those things when you're ready, whether we have cats now or we don't. Do you kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's sad. Or a gray pit bull and name him Tuff. Oh, that's cute. T-U-F-F. Yeah. Tough. <gasps> really? T-U-F-F? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's cute. I love me some pimples, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want these things, like, I want it to be a lap dog, so it, it would like, oh, yeah, nap pimples. on me, and it would like, like, put its back against my stomach and it like nap with its head up here. And oh. I could just, Twinkie would be so jealous. She would, she would hate it. <laughs> she would hate it because Twinkie's spot is like always either by her or by me. Yeah, and, like, her comfort Obsessed. is to push her butt right up. I know, her. it's so cute. Yeah. That's how I sleep at night, if Twinkie's butt's like pranced up against me. <laughs> pranced? Yeah, pressed. Next question is, can you please do a binging video like of you eating on a cheat day? I have done videos like that before. I've done a lot of videos like that actually. And I get a lot of hate on them because I think it's because people don't understand binging. They think, oh, this girl's morbidly obese so she's just eating for the heck of it. The thing is, I hate food most of the time. It makes me mad, it angers me, but it's like, the binge monster comes. I know a lot of people make fun of me about that, which is really sad because I have people who contact me and they're like, I totally understand the binge monster. So I don't really want to talk about that, but I mean, I'm sure I'll do more because I'm never going to like stop binging. That's something that I'm going to have to deal with forever. I just hope that it stops happening so frequently. One day I can be like, you know what? I haven't binged in six months. That will be amazing. I can't wait for that time. And it's not really something I can help her with. I can't. I've tried. I can't really hear her. Um, she was saying that she loves me. She's been watching me since I was with Crystal. I don't know. I don't know if it's like my phone's messing up, like the volume. I don't know. Your glitter eyeshadow is really pretty. What do you use? Um, I think it's Revlon. I personally hate it, but thank you. Um, I only did it like this today because pride and I wanted to be extra as heck. <laughs> Next question. Hi Amber, absolutely adore watching you and Becky. My question is, do you and Becky plan on getting married or engaged? Much love all the way from Europe. Oh damn, it's spouse it's supposed to be a video form. Oh no, it's okay. Um, I don't know, cause I'm not proposing. <laughs> no, it has to be me. But I don't plan on doing it for a while because yeah. marriage is something I take very seriously because you know my parents have gotten divorced out of after like 30 years together. Both my sisters have been Div married, divorced, and then married again, and then, you know, like, aunts and uncles. I want to marry someone and stay with that person. And, like, and I'm not saying me and Amber Lynn aren't going to stay together. It's just, you know, I'm not ready after just a year of being together. I because, agree. You know, I'm going to be 28 this year. I just want to do it the mature way. I agree. You know, I didn't want to jump into it with you, did I? I took my time. Yeah, she did. <laughs> it was a long time before I could even say I love you. Mm hmm so now that she does say it, it's, it, it means a lot more. Hello, Amberly. I just wanted to ask you, do you know BTS? Or like, it's a K-pop band, do you know them? You should. Oh, I was like. So. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Okay, bye. Do I know BTS? I don't. Wait, BTS? I don't know. 
Um, I think they're like um, like Asian or something like that. Because I have a friend, Chelsea, and she's like really into them. And she's like... Your ex, Chelsea? No, no, no. She oh, I was like... One of my Instagram friends <laughs> off of um, my account. Oh, okay. Okay, she's like one of my friends off Instagram and she like really likes... I think she calls them BTS or something like that. So I actually just started like watching you maybe like in February. Um... But I've really, really grown to love your channel. Mm -hmm. um, but I genuinely like just want to know, like, what's your usual like skincare, nighttime routine, and whatever? Like, what facial cleansers and stuff do you use? Because it seems like your skin in your little videos, when you, when you don't have makeup on, looks really good. Um, so I was just wondering, like, what do you usually do? <laughs> Thank you so much for, you know, enjoying my channel and being a new subscriber. You know what's weird about this q and I was expecting, like, an abundance of just, like, rude people. And, I don't know, I'm just appreciating this. Obviously, there's going to be a mixture of some rude stuff. But, okay, this is going to surprise a lot of people. But I don't really have, like, a skincare routine. I think I just got really lucky with the skin that I have. I'm not saying it's perfect because, girl, oh my god. Sometimes it's too dry. Sometimes it's too oily. Some like my sometimes my pores are too big, which I feel like I get from my mom. Um, sometimes like I have really bad breakouts and stuff like that. But the reason why I don't have a skincare routine, as I'm wearing a ton of makeup, which is gonna be people are gonna say that's a hypocrite. Um, when I was a teenager, I would break out using like any lotions on my face. I break out now just washing my hair like on my face. Um, I just break out pretty much using any type of soaps on my face or anything. So obviously I went to the doctor and they said that I just have really sensitive skin on my face. And he said, wash your face with water. He's like, that's what the cavemen, like he had this whole freaking joke about cavemen and how like that's what they did back then. I'm just like, I'm not a caveman though. Like I remember that distinctively, but um, I don't know. I just, I wash my face with water. I wash like my whole body with soap besides my face. And I feel like a lot of people think they're meant to wash their face with soap because that's what everyone else does. But for me, it breaks me out more. It makes my skin drier. Um, I don't really know. That's just what I do. And I know other people are different, so I don't really know. And I'm, I only do that because that's what the doctor told me to do, so. What's your skincare routine? Um, I have a hormonal imbalance where I like grow hair and like I get really bad acne and stuff like, on my face. I never really get, see hair on you. Yes, I do. I never really see it that bad. You gotta get close. But then like I stay broke out like right over here. You go get close. Um. So yeah, you guys have made it obvious I have acne problems. I do use St. Ives every day, like the the apricot scrub. I love that stuff just to feel, you know, that, that cleanliness. But I know it's not going to get rid of my acne no matter what I do. And yes, I've tried proactive. I've tried clean and clear. I've tried everything there is in there for a while. I was fine. I don't see, you don't have acne like what you're saying. Babe, those are just like normal breakouts, I feel like. I don't know. Okay, by the way, our air conditioner just shut off, so like, it sounds so quiet. Is it rain? Right? No, I wish. Oh, okay. That's okay. the air conditioning. You guys are the cutest. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Me too. <laughs> And then she said, also, you should add me. Um, some long-term goals that I have for myself is obviously weight loss. I just want to become healthier. Um, I want to uh, work on my depression more and become a little bit more active, gain more energy, do funner things. Um, I'm, I keep feeling like I want to like move and just kind of do my own thing. Uh, that's like a whole other story, though. But like not like near future, kind of like further away future, but that's still like a goal that I want for myself. I want to continue on um, losing weight, even though that's not been very good in a while because I gave up and my depression got really, really bad. I had to go to the doctor, I had to get put on medicine. This medicine like is weird. Like sometimes I'm feeling fine and then other times I don't feel anything at all. And then it has this knack of making me very tired all the time like very tired all the time 
and um so yeah i've not been focused on losing my weight but i want to like i really 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 want to i want to know what i, look, I would look like you know at a better weight because i don't beautiful. like how i look now i keep seeing myself over there in the camera and i'm just like you look so tiny because i'm like closer to the camera than you you're closer to the camera and your seat's like way up higher than yeah mine is, mine is like kind of sinky sinking like sink, yeah it's like sinking in it's bouncy babe you're beautiful and stop thinking so negative about yourself um, no, Rick, if only you ricky would slap the crap out of me if he was here right i now. know he hates the jokes i made make up on myself i don't get it and he last night he was like stop he's like you're so pretty just stop he's like he's like how would you feel if someone you cared about kept like making mean jokes about themselves so i was like oh you care about me <laughs> yeah he's pretty much telling you he loved you last night and I was just like, but that's just, that's just like what I do. Like I make the fat joke before anyone else does. Um, Eric and Ricky have never made fat jokes towards me, but it's like, I just feel obligated to do it. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It's how I've been my whole life. I'm the same way. Like I would bring myself down before anybody else could, cause so the jokes on them. Yeah. Like, so they know, don't have to. So they don't have to do it. So Nikki you know. and thumb and all that. You know, you're not saying anything to me i'm not saying to myself so hey amber would you do a meetup in lexington and i'm actually in lexington right now and so are you because that's what i said in your little stamp thing um yeah it was like five something yeah i think that's whenever we finally decided to eat something for yeah a so would i ever do a meetup i don't know how to go about a meetup in a professional way i wouldn't just randomly be like hey come to the mall i'm here because that's scary i don't know who would show up so i feel like i need to plan it and have the right type of planning and i still don't think i'm like a big enough youtuber to have people actually wanting to meet me like that i don't i don't know besides like her <laughs> a lot of people want me to do meetups just random places like texas europe i'm just like i don't i can't i'm not good enough <laughs> So my question is, if you could time travel, would you travel to the past Ooh. or to the future? Love you guys. We love you. And that is a freaking good question. The future scares me. The future I would want to go to the past. Okay. 70s or 80s. 70s or 80s. Just to visit? Yeah. Okay. Is there a distinct moment that you want to visit you know it'd be really awesome to see the berlin wall fall but that was uh 1990 that was like right before i was born and you i would want to be <laughs> some people are gonna be like what okay i would go to the past and i would be on the bus and i would stick up for rosa parks Ooh, yeah. because rosa parks is i've always looked up to her i've said this in a video before and i got so much hate for it they're like you probably don't know the story you're just saying that <sighs> people will literally know? hate me for everything why wouldn't why wouldn't she know the story i don't I know mean, they teach you that in school <laughs> yeah right i just look up to her and the situation and what happened so much because i feel like she stands for something bigger than what she even probably realized at the time and i just wish i could have seen it happen as sad as like her position was i just feel like i don't know you know what i would have done i just wish i would have been there yeah sure she can move and then scoot over and she and be like you can sit right here next to me yeah nobody would touch you <laughs> So I think that's it for these questions. So I could literally do a part three, a part that four. the camera. A, oh my God. I could literally do like a part three, a part four, a part five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, there was a lot of questions. There's still a lot of questions on there, but there's like, I don't, I don't want to bore you guys. Um, yeah, I keep yawning. But if you guys enjoyed this, like, let no. me know. Not because I'm bored or anything. I just keep yawning because I'm tired. Yeah, we've had like a crazy last few days. Hope you guys enjoyed our random talking and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.